Hi, Kingdom Sports TV here, back for another video. Sorry I didn't have enough time to put an actual legit video together. Just too much going on in my life. But so I just wanted to do a quick match recap. And it was a really disappointing draw. I felt like we were played really well. There's some reports that we were playing a 4-4-2, which it kind of looked like we were not playing the typical 4-3-3 that Peter Vermees would typically go with. But it still looked a lot like a 4-3-3. So I don't really know exactly what we were playing without going back, but I was at the game and it really did look like we were still playing the 4-3-3 with just some slight variations. So I don't know what that report of 4-4-2 was from the, um, from some Twitter accounts that we're, that was going to be our starting 11. But Saul Abdul Salam seemed a little bit lacking in the attacking third. I can't wait to have Grim Juicy back for that aspect. His defending is solid. I really was impressed with Eric Palmer Brown. He really should be getting some more game time. He was really solid at the back and don't know why Kevin Ellis is even contention when we have somebody like Eric Palmer Brown back there. Um, Diego Rubio, what a finish. And I was so happy when he put that away. It was, got it live. It, it, you check it out. It's on the channel if you want to go look at it. But it was such a great finish. Great ball skills and a great curling finish. He should have finished one maybe earlier in the game. But that was a great way to make up for it. And the PK, going back and looking at it, it was definitely a PK. It was really disappointing to give it that PK, considering that was their only good shot, really, of the whole game. They really didn't deserve to get the draw. We really should have put another chance away and won 2-1. to one. But we didn't. Latif Blessing and Shallery had both had chances late in the game. They both couldn't put it away, which was really sad. It was really annoying. I really wish we could have put one of those away and won the game. But it just wasn't meant to be for Sporting him to see last night. And now we're only one point ahead of FC Dallas going and when they have two games at hand coming into MLS after this couple-week break that we have. But first, we have FC Dallas and the US Open Cup. I'll be going to that game. I'll My match day vlog of this game, the Philadelphia Union versus Sporting Kansas City, will probably come out Sundays, like I said, because I just don't have time to make it today and or Saturday. And I'll be definitely getting tickets to the game on Tuesday against DC United, in the, um, not DC United, FC Dallas in the US Open Cup quarterfinals. And I do hope to see Diego Rubio start in that same, pretty much that same team besides Navy. I will probably still play Salvador Salam. He's still a good right back, but it, it was just a little bit disappointing performance for him for me. And otherwise, Shaloli was good. He just didn't finish a chance. He he was good though in the match. Uh, Eli Sanchez. I don't know. Maybe we play Mustafar Failhopper if we're only gonna play kind of a weaker midfield like that. But we'll have Roger Espinosa back. Roger Espinosa was a big miss last night. Um, and I would like to almost see it, maybe not since Sheroli and Diego Rubio has now come onto the scene, but I'd almost like to see attacking three in the four three three with Latif Blessing, Jimmy Madron, and Joseph Fernandez. The pace on that would be would be would be crazy, and I'd almost like to see that in the game. You know, I don't know if Peter Vermees would like to go with that, but anyways, that's it for me now. Um, good performances from basically the whole team besides Benny Failhaber giving away that PK. It was a really solid match. Shab so Abdul Salam was probably my, the besides Benny Fahalber giving away the PK, he was probably the worst performer in the match, and he still wasn't that bad. He just lacked, as an attacking fullback, he, he lacked a few touches up the field. But in his defense, he was solid. The only thing we give away was the PK, otherwise we were really solid defense. So there's not much more I could say besides that. We should have finished a couple of chances with Teeth Blessing, Shalane, and Diego Rubio. Each had a chance they didn't finish. Um, that could have easily put us over the top, but we didn't. We have to settle for the one-one draw and probably get knocked down in the second when FC Dallas plays those games in hands. But for now, that's what we're gonna have to take, and we're still looking good. I just want to at least get first or second and try to win the U.S. Open Cup, and then see what we can do in the MLS Cup. But that's what I want for now. Um, actually, no, we're gonna be signing Christian Labato. Will be available, I think, for the U.S. Open Cup game because it'll be after July 10th, so he might even be able to play. But um, I made, made a highlight video. You should go check that out if you haven't seen it. I might put it, the link in the description. But for now, this is my recap of the Sporting Kansas City versus Philadelphia Union game. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and see you guys later. Peace.